Hey guys, it's uh, Techspert from Techspert.com again, bringing you the next video on how to get the latest leak, which is FD19, onto your phone. This leak came out last week, but I was uh, I went ahead and uploaded it last week. And I was testing it all out so I could make this video uh, for my review video and for my how-to video. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I want to send out thanks to the guys over at XCADevelopers.com, particular SF Hub. Uh, without him, this wouldn't be possible. Uh, and of course, everybody who helps, you know, contribute to the latest leaks out. Um, just to cover some bases, of course, you're gonna need some prerequisite software before you start. And if you want to follow along to a guide while you watch this video, or you have some questions that haven't been quite answered through the video, go ahead and head over to textbook.com/rooting. It's gonna have my latest guide, which is this guide on how to. It's gonna cover some questions, some Q and A's, you know, some things that you might have questions on. Uh, so go ahead and check that out. Again, all these links to the downloads and everything I mentioned is going to be included in the description. I used to include it in the annotations, but you know those don't work quite as well anymore. Anyways, if you uh, haven't already downloaded it yet, you want to download the Samsung drivers. This is so your phone will be able to be recognized while your computer for the program that we're going to use, which is the Odin method. Uh, just one click root. Uh, there, you know, you can root through. I mean, you can flash this ROM over Clockwork Recovery Mod, but I'm going to show you guys the uh, the Odin tar file one. Anyways, um, the second thing you need to do is download the actual ROM itself. Now, this ROM comes with the kernel, the ROM, and of course the modem. So it's all in one package. You don't have to flash anything over more if you don't want to. Of course, I can uh, give you the option, or actually, I will go over in case you want to uh, flash over. Uh, Clockwork Recovery Mod on this version. I'm going to go ahead and include that in the uh, in the video as well. Um, but the first, uh, as always, with the Odin um, with the Odin downloads, you're going to have an option between uh, downloading the FD19 ROM full restore. Again, this is going to clear everything. It's just basically going to factory reset your phone, install the FD19 ROM plus root uh, with the Wi-Fi hack and all of that. Um, the second option you have to download is the ROM, but it's going to preserve the user data. If this is your first time flashing, uh, if you're flashing over from Gingerbread over to FD19, or uh, maybe a really old version of Ice Cream Sandwich Leak that was out, maybe like FC15 or something like that, I recommend you go for the uh, for the factory reset route. I know it's a pain in the ass to get all your contacts back and everything like that, but it definitely, definitely helps out. It streamlines your phone. That way, there's no you know unseen glitches that you don't have to go through before. Um, um, for this for this video, I'm going to be using the preserved data version only because I'm already on FD19. However, if you are on FD15 or FD16, FD02, feel free to go ahead and just you know upgrade it if you if you like or you're familiar with the process and want to test it out. Anyways, um, so once you have all that downloaded, again all the links to what I just mentioned, the preserved data route and the factory reset route can be found on the XDA developer form site right here. Or again, you can go to the textbook.com slash rooting site and again, download the software from there as well. Now, once you have that software downloaded, uh, what you want to go ahead and do is just go over to your phone. I have my phone right here. And you want to go ahead and just power it off. Hit yeah to OK to power off. And of course, always make sure you have your USB cable handy. Um, you know, I use the, I've heard stories uh, especially from other YouTube videos out there that the, the Samsung cable that came with the epic 4G touch is not as good um, I, I use the cable I have a you know a, a variety of cables I use this it doesn't hasn't really given me any trouble at all um, but again if you encounter any problems it could be with the cable I recommend you try another one uh, which of course Blackberry or droid cables work great as well Okay, so once you have that file downloaded, just go ahead and save it to your desktop. I say the desktop just because of accessibility, it's really easy to reach. Um, and as you can see, I already have mine saved right here. We're going to use a preserved data version. And you're going to see a type of file. This is going to save as a 7-zip file. You just double-click it and extract it to another subfolder. Now it's going to open up, uh, it's going to extract as this, as an application of .exe, which is the Odin exe. And uh, this is especially important, the next step you need to do, especially if you're a Windows Vista user or a Windows 7 user, you need to right click this and hit run as administrator. Uh, that way it can do all the necessary changes. If you run it without being an administrator, it'll just say failed over and over again. It'll just give you a basically an infinite loop of a loading bar. So once you're done uh, hitting, you know, 
run as administrator this box will pop up the Odin execution v1.81 uh, that means you're all set to go uh, at least as far as your computer goes and now that you go over to your phone what you want to do is go ahead and just put into Odin download mode the way you do that if you haven't done it before is you press the power button and the volume down button at the same time and keep on holding it until it reaches the Odin menu and let's go ahead and do that the power button and the volume down button at the same time and as you can see you get these uh, this warning screen and at the screen right here you just want to hit volume up it's gonna take you into downloading you see the little Android guy right there downloading okay now you can plug in your USB cable into your phone now it's connected to the uh, computer and if you look over to computer while you're connecting this you should hear that little recognize symbol that if you installed your drivers correctly that the device was recognized and as you can see there on the box my device was recognized again the way you see this is you see that little yellow box it's gonna say zero colon and then com and then a number uh, the number is different for everybody uh, it doesn't really matter what number you're assigned to as long as you see that and you're assigned a number then you are good to go and uh, all you have to do is hit start and again this takes a little while it takes uh, I don't know about 10 to 15 minutes just depending and uh, so go ahead and pause the video uh, and then when you come back it should be all done and rooted again I'll just cut to where it is done rooting okay guys as you see I'm coming in at the end of the video here as you can see at the phone is almost done I'm sorry the computer is almost done flashing over the ROM as you can see it's just finished up flashing over the modem and as you can see it set reset pass and it's gonna go ahead and reboot my phone successfully again I use a preserved data version so it's gonna have all the data on it I'm gonna go ahead and let you see the boot screen uh, since this was just the stock leak version of ice cream sandwich it's completely you know as if it was from sprint except that you have root and free Wi-Fi um, if you want to check out my review video of this ROM, just go ahead and click on the video annotation in the uh, at the end of the video. Again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, uh, or need any help, just leave it in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to help you. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.